Hi, I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I'm going to show you a simple object lesson for kids that uses a crown to teach kids about the only king who can change their heart. After you watch the video and maybe even subscribe to our channel, you can visit kidsenjoyingjesus.com where you'll find more lessons, videos, and ideas to help parents, pastors, and teachers share the love and joy of Jesus with kids. Do you know who wears a crown? Kings and queens wear crowns to show that they are in charge of a kingdom or country. Do you know who is the greatest king of all time? God is the ultimate perfect king who created the universe. He's in charge of everything, even you. But you're born with a heart that wants to be king instead of God. Did you know the word heart is used over 700 times in the Bible? When the Bible uses the word heart, it's usually talking about who you really are on the inside, the part of you that thinks thoughts, feels feelings, and chooses choices. Your heart wants to be king because your heart has a big problem, and the Bible tells us what it is. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? The Bible tells us there's a huge problem in your heart. It's called sin. So I'm going to take this crown with a heart on it and I'm going to write sin here right in the middle. Perfect. Just like that. Now you have sin in your heart that rules over you and sin makes a terrible king. Sin is anything you think, say, or do that breaks God's perfect rules. You do things like lying, cheating, fighting, and wanting your own way because you were born wanting to be king of your own heart because you have sin in your heart. The worst part is a sinful heart will keep you far away from God, the wonderful king who made you and loves you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this heart out of this crown. There we go. You see, God is perfect. He's a perfect king. And your sin in your heart keeps you from being able to stay close to him. So I've cut out the heart and moved it away from the crown to remind us that sin keeps us away from God the king. You can't fix or change your heart by yourself. Even if you try to be really good, you will still sin because you have a sinful heart. Sin is a big deal because all sin deserves the punishment of death and separation from God's wonderful love and awesomeness. But thousands of years before you were born, God planned a way for you to have a new heart so you could enjoy being with him forever. The Bible says, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. Your heart is messed up by sin, but God made the way for you to have a new heart by sending his perfect son, Jesus, to save people from sin. Jesus had a perfect heart. Jesus is the true king of the world. And when Jesus lived on the earth, he did many wonderful good things, but he never thought, said, or did anything wrong. His kingly heart is perfect and pure, totally sinless. That's the kind of heart you need in order to be close to God. Jesus wants to be your king and give you a new heart. Jesus never sinned, but he chose to take the punishment for your sin by being nailed to a cross where he bled and died. While Jesus was dying on the cross, God took your sin and the sin of the whole world and put it on Jesus's perfect heart. Now when God looked at the heart of King Jesus, he saw our horrible sin. The Bible says, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. God put your sin on Jesus and punished him for it instead of you. Jesus died and was separated from God in your place. But he didn't stay dead. God brought Jesus back to life and today he's in heaven ruling as the awesome king of heaven and earth. Jesus wants to be the king of your heart. Because Jesus died and rose again, he can give you a new heart that's ready to be with him in God's kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. When you believe Jesus really is God's perfect son who died and came back to life to take the punishment for your sin, God says you'll be saved from sin. 
He takes the perfectness of Jesus and puts it on your heart so that when he looks at you, he sees the perfect heart of Jesus instead of your sin. Having Jesus as the king of your heart makes you ready to live forever with God, your king, in heaven someday. It also makes you ready to love and enjoy God, your king, right now. Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Jesus can help you do this. Only Jesus, the King of Hearts, can give you a new heart. When Jesus is King of your heart, he helps you love him and live for him each day. He's the King of your heart instead of you, and his kingly ways are absolutely the best way to live life. If you have never believed in Jesus as your Savior from sin, then he's not the King of your heart. Your heart is still messed up by sin that will separate you from God. You can believe in Jesus and have Jesus be the King of your heart today. If you have questions about what that means, or you want to talk more about it, please talk to your parents or someone from your church. God can use them to help you learn more. You can also talk to God about it right now. Tell him what you believe about Jesus and ask him to help you make Jesus the King of your heart. If you're a mom, dad, or someone else who'd like to use this idea with kids in your home or church, you can find instructions for this King of Hearts Gospel Object Lesson and dozens of other activities in our book, Enjoying God, My King. You can get a free digital copy of this book at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. And while you're there, you can take a look at the Enjoying God, My King resource bundle that includes a printable visual for this object lesson, a page that kids can color to make their own copy of the lesson after you teach it, and a printable copy of the children's devotional book, God is My King. I'll put links to all these things in the video description so you can check them out right after you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.